What's up, fam? Jamil and I are up bright and early today because we wanted to go to Capriotti's to try their brand new American Wagyu French dip sandwich, okay? Ooh. Yes, you guys. So they have a French dip sandwich. It is made with Wagyu, yep. Swiss cheese. Exactly. Um, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> There's had, more. Had this Wagyu beef, Swiss cheese, mayo, black pepper, and a side of the au jus sauce for dipping. That's that right there. Okay. Now, we did talk to the, um, the employee there. She said this was one of her favorite sandwiches. She said yes. it's very good. She said she really liked it. Yeah. Yeah, for sure, which is nice. You know what? We haven't been to Capriati's in a long time. Yeah. And you guys, this French bread smells really good. Does it? Here. Oh, okay. It smells really yeah. good. <laughs> like, no joke. Like, this, it smells like it came straight out of a bakery. That's not good. Okay, so I smell something funky. Really? Yes. Is it the beef? Uh, I think you're tripping. I swear I smelled something funky and I thought it was the au jus no. when I opened it earlier. I don't know. Okay. So I think you're tripping. I think it's the bread. I think you're not used to fresh bread. <laughs> is that yeah, what that's it what's is? going on. <laughs> okay. I tried to say this does look good. So you guys, we got a medium. It's yeah. $14.99 just yeah. for the sandwich and this au jus. You guys, who pays that much? Obviously we do, but yeah. <laughs> for a sandwich. But that's a lot of money. That's a lot. Inflation is just like crazy these days. It's going so the roof. I just again, I think Jamil and I have said this. As long as it's worth it, like we're okay to pay it. So yeah. let's hope this, you know, is good. Now it's Wagyu. So yes, exactly. We'll see how this is. You want to dip first? All right, I'll let you dip first. Okay, thank you. Yep. Let's get a sure. good French dip dip. Uh-huh. Okay, the the ajou is nice and hot. I know. Okay. Comment down below if you are a French dip lover. All right. Let's find out if we are. Uh -huh. mm. Wow. Mm. Oh, my God. Mmm. That's very good. It's so much flavor. Okay, yeah, you guys, I feel like oftentimes we do so many food reviews. <laughs> and oftentimes we'll say this. Um, I don't know, like, but I promise you, <laughs> this is like factoid. Yeah. This is really good. Yeah. Oh my gosh. You know, I've had a decent mm. amount of au jus. I mean, I'm not like big on like French dip stuff. Mm-hmm. But this sounds kind of weird. This almost has kind of like a soy sauce type of flavor. Yeah. It does, right? Yeah. And it works really well with this Wagyu. It works really, really well. And I know this just has like mayo on it. Yeah. But almost tastes like an aioli or something, mm -hmm. you know, which is which is good. It just has more flavor. And black pepper on here. Yeah, which, yeah, I'm not like feeling, I'm not tasting, but I'm sure it's mm -hmm. on there. Mm -hmm. But. A cheese is really creamy, but that beef is like super, super tender. And I do have to say, like a French dip, ha you have to have good au jus, right? Yes, you do. I promise, this is good. It smelled weird. It did, but it could be just because I haven't had, right? It does smell a little. It smells different, is mm -hmm. what it is. But the taste of it is some of the best that I've I've had. And I mean, I really, you guys, I'm not like a big French dip person, so I haven't had like yeah, me too, a lot, a lot everywhere, but. I've had a decent amount, and this is this is some of the better ones that yes. I've tried. Some of the better sauce I've tried. And this bread is super duper fresh. Mm -hmm. It's very very tasty, mm -hmm. like really good. Like I would, mm -hmm. I want to go back and get another one. <laughs> That's how good it is. Um, but it is expensive. It's almost worth paying another twenty bucks, <laughs> fifteen bucks. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, this is good. This is very very good. Mm. Now. As far as like a cheesesteak goes. A cheesesteak or a French dip? Uh, okay, a French dip, sure. In comparison to other French dips. Yeah. The whole thing, not just the sauce, but the whole yeah. thing. Where would you rate this one? I really like it. I've yeah. had French dip a few times in my life, or more yeah. than a few. Yeah, but usually it's at like diners, you know, like mm -hmm. restaurants, things like that. And I thought they were good, but they're usually on like a harder bread, I feel like. Or I just remember having like French dips on a tougher bread. And it just doesn't have like this much flavor. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if it's the Wagyu that's just making it. Because aren't French dips normally roast beef? They are sometimes, but. Yeah. I've had a steak one. I've had a lot of different oh, ones. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So I've had different ones. This one is 
Mm. I think to me, it's just the combo of the bread, mm. the wagyu, and the the cheese. It tastes good, and this this the sauce. It's it's very good. Oh, I'm I do have to say something though. Mm -hmm. um, we were a little scared okay. when we got this from mm. the restaurant. Um, it is currently nine thirteen. Yeah. Capriati's here opened at uh, eight a.m. Mm -hmm. and you know we thought an hour is a good amount of time. I could tell the employee was a little irritated. Maybe she was the only one. She was cleaning when we got there. And she showed up and we showed up and she was just not having it. <laughs> I was like, hi, good yeah. morning. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing at what all. What can I get for you? Mm -hmm. It's such a pet peeve. Well, just yeah. say good morning back. I know, but I get it. I you know, I, I guess the way I feel is, you know, early in the morning, it's hard to want to get up and be there to begin with sometimes, you know, and who knows what type of stuff she's dealing with and things like that. So I do, I do understand, but it is, <laughs> it's slightly funny though. Like in the sense that like, we're like, you know, kind of peppy and <laughs> like nice and friendly. And she was just like, okay, what do you want? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and like, you can hear her typing. She was like, you hear her? like super loud. She's mm -hmm. like, Oh my mm -hmm. man, she, mm -hmm. she was not happy with us, so. I did not think the sandwich was going to be good. I know. Because we were like, it's not going to be made with love. Yeah, so I was going to mm -hmm. order, like, my own sandwich to actually just have something. Mm -hmm. um, and I actually started to order it, but then I was like, you know what? I, I was like, go ahead and take it off, because she didn't seem super friendly, so I was just like, I don't know if I'm even going to get a good sandwich. Yeah. So I just completely stopped it. And judging by that, she hooked that up. It was really good. She hooked that up. So definitely shout out to her. I'm not mad. I'm not mad at all. No, you never know what you're going to get, but... You never know. Definitely the customer service was not there. Yeah. At first. And then towards the end, then I'm like, oh, do you, you know, like, do you like the sandwich? Have you had it before? Yeah, she's, she's like, friendly. I love it. It's very good. So, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Somewhere between the five minutes she was making it, she got more friendly, but... Yeah. yeah. And, and I think what it was, was we just caught her right while she was trying to clean and kind of prep and stuff like that. Yeah. And, you know, like you, you know, like I said, it's... It's hard maybe even getting up just to go into work. You don't really want to be there. And then, you know, while you're cleaning and you're, you know, doing your thing, somebody shows up and they want you to cook, you know? I do have to say, yeah, I agree. Out. You know, I don't think that they should put the employees by themselves at yeah, these food places. I agree. Maybe there was someone in the back. I don't know, but... Maybe. I didn't see anyone. You know? Yeah, but I mean, I understand that, like, it's not like a rush hour at, like, yeah. 8 a.m. for a Capriati sandwich, but still, like, mm -hmm. you know, being one person and running a whole food establishment it's a lot that's a lot and you're expected to clear, clearly clean she was like that's cleaning crazy. which yeah. you think it should be done the day before but whatever you yeah. know yeah yeah that's like, what's she cleaning hold up i don't know it should be done the clean the day before it should be yeah so wait a second maybe that's what she's mad i don't know yeah <laughs> You know what? Yeah. <laughs> Could be. Because I've worked some jobs before where people did not clean the section. Uh -huh. And then the next day you come in, you're like, guys, really? Really? <laughs> you got to clean up. Maybe that's what it was. Yeah. Yeah. Because typically the day before, especially for like kitchens and stuff, mm -hmm. you want to do that. I think, I think, please tell me if I'm wrong, but you want to do that before you leave. Yes. And then the next day it's clean and ready to go. Yes. But I don't know. No, I, no, that is what it is. So mm -hmm. I don't know what happened. But anyways, point being, yeah. yes, you got. Okay, so you always ask me this, so I'm going to ask you this way. <laughs> okay. Should somebody yeah. <laughs> go out of their way uh -huh. to Capriati's and get this French dip sandwich? Yes or no? Hell no, you shouldn't get that. <laughs> For that price, you guys saw how fast I ate that? Jamil, that was crazy. You literally, this is why people don't like you <laughs> on these videos because you're like, it's so good. It's the best French dip sandwich I've ever had. Well, but don't go. It's a big <laughs> H E double hockey sticks. No, don't go. This listen, is why because you're like, you're like this. Listen, do you, you know, people don't know. I'm like a movie when it comes with a twist. Yeah. You know what I mean? You think it's going one way and then right at the end, okay. I just go ahead and do the other I should have asked, not checking out for people's pockets. Okay. Checking out for people's stomachs. Yes. Is <laughs> eating it worth it? If your wallet is attached to your stomach, do not get it. <laughs> but if, you, if your wallet is not attached to your stomach and you can spend, yeah, if you don't mind spending the $15 for it, it's good. Mm -hmm. It's a very good sandwich. Yeah. I actually would recommend it. Very tasty. I would say it's very good. Mm -hmm. But for the price, yeah. because only solely because of the price, I would actually say I say don't do it. 
Yeah. In my opinion, I'm sorry, I hate to say that, it is but expensive. fifteen dollars for that. Obviously, you and I were splitting it and stuff, mm -hmm. so it's it's definitely you know if you're paying and you're just doing it for one person, it's a little bit. At least it's more food, you know. Exactly. Right. But are we full after a half? No, we're yeah. definitely not full after a half. Yeah, no, that's true. But you know, inflation. It is what it is, you guys. So I appreciate you looking up for the fam's wallet. Yes. Very nice. You can get a small for I think ten dollars and ninety nine cents. <gasps> I didn't even see the price for that. Wow, for a small. It's crazy. And it doesn't come with a bag of chips, by the way, either. Or I know. a drink. I know. We had to pay extra for this drink. We did. <laughs> okay, well, now I got to ask you uh, would you recommend it for the fans? I would, you guys. It was very, very tasty. We have had way more expensive things <laughs> yeah, that I've recommended in the past, but I just feel flavor wise like it is so delicious. Yeah. Like I want another one. Yeah, it was it was that good. It was bomb.com. It really was. Yeah. So yeah. no, definitely get it. If you've had it, comment down below. Let us know what you think. If you're yeah. gonna get it, comment down below. Let us know when you're gonna get it. Exactly. And if you do get it, write us. Let us know how it is. <laughs> but I think you guys are gonna like it. It's very tasty. So for sure, for yeah. sure. Okay, well let's quickly rate it one out of ten, oh, and then uh, yeah. you know we'll go from there. Are you ready? I am. I'm ready too. One, One two, two, three, three nine. nine and a half. It's that good. Wow. Yeah. It's, it's good, that guys. good. I don't know yeah. why. Wait, we're not. We only do that when we get the same. We get <laughs> the same rating. Because they gave it a high score, <laughs> and I true. definitely hope they keep us on the menu. It's totally worth it. Yeah. Nine, nine and a half. Yeah. Yeah. That was fun. Well, I still say don't do it. I, st I say unless someone buys it for you <laughs> or something or like, I don't know. I don't, it's, it's good. It's just so much. Maybe if you so have much. a nice coworker who's willing to buy your lunch. There you go. If somebody owes you a meal. Yeah. Take them to Cap, you know, tell them to get you something from Cap. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. All right, you guys, we'll catch you next time. <laughs> we love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Yeah, we'll see you tomorrow for another video. Yes. Mm -hmm. Peace out, Charles.